Hi everyone, welcome back to AI Coding channel. Today I'm going to talk about how I got into tech and how I got into machine learning engineering. I don't remember ever having any class about technology when I was in school, but I do remember that I loved technology. I loved computers. I was always into, you know, how to build my own computer and doing some of like hacking or whatever that was. At school, I remember I wanted to be something like an archeologist and then from that on, I skipped to criminology. In high school, I had to decide between uh, the tech path and then the health sciences. It actually made sense to go through the health sciences if I wanted to study something like criminology. So I blindly went there and uh, after a month of having my first biology class, which was disgusting, I just literally quit and changed completely to just do math and physics. I honestly didn't know what I was gonna set up myself for. Everything that I wanted to do until that point, I just basically couldn't do it. But I knew that I was definitely gonna become something like an engineer. But I had no idea which engineering I was gonna do. And then the election time came. I went to like a very big book where you have the list of all these engineering tracks that you can go for. I was already too bored. I just wanted to do something more creative. Always been someone very passionate about uh, music and uh, photography. At some point I said something that was very interesting to me and it was something like acoustics and image processing engineering. So I was like, oh my God, I can actually just go to university, get an engineering and, you know, make videos. It was not like that. So yeah, first thing I did not study computer science. My first year I was extremely packed with uh, things like algebra, calculus, statistics and programming. I was really bad at programming. It was too abstract. I think it had a lot to do with like how I was taught this. Uh, I never did programming prior to getting into university so I basically didn't know what was programming at all and then I got into this uh, room full of students and the title of the course was named uh, Programming One and I got this teacher that went into the classroom just directly to write in the whiteboard and she was not writing her name or who she was or anything she just wrote some code and then she put some slides next to her explaining what a function was and I don't know, I spent like the first two weeks wondering what the hell, like where do you, like I didn't understand, where do you put this X, Y, fun, whatever uh, definitions, like how do you compile, what's that of like compiling? Um, it, it was a lot of work that I had to do just right after that, trying to understand what it is that I was going to do. Then obviously, after programming one, I had programming two. Programming one was oriented to C language and programming two was Java. And uh, programming two was even worse for me than programming one. Uh, I have to say just in the middle of all this, I love programming. I don't remember exactly what was the project for Java, but it's something similar, I think, for the C. So C, we had to build something like, um, a train station ticket machine or something like that. So way after that, uh, I started using other type of programming languages. Uh, everything started being more oriented to um, sound wave, uh, so acoustics and image processing. So I started working with MATLAB and uh, applying some, you know, typical image processing and, uh, transformations. I started working a lot with uh, Fourier transforms, some stuff like future extraction, image restoration, and I still didn't quite get at that point what exactly what I was gonna do after graduating. I was thinking, do people really um, like scales images for a living? Like I, I, I was completely shocked that that could actually happen. I was having so many things at the same time and no guidance at all on like, where can I apply this? There was one subject at the end of the bachelor's and it was about designing games using this blender software and for some reason i got hooked on that even though i don't really play video games the idea of like 3d objects and you know uh, the physics of it and using this program it was super cool so when i finished i didn't know if i wanted to do a master's i mean with this bachelor's obviously you could do anything you want you can go directly into software engineering you could work as an acoustics engineer i think you could 
actually but that moment entered to anything related with data science or data analytics but i didn't know by that time so i did some research and i ended up pursuing a master's oriented into computer graphics which actually included computer vision and it had a part of user experience design first class was something like machine learning it was exactly the same as my first programming course everything was about features and target variable and then a model and then you put everything inside and then it predicts and i was like what are we talking about i wasn't using python by the way by that time i was still using MATLAB. so the first semester was very oriented to computer graphics so actually the machine learning course i didn't have like full time to completely study the subject because in the meantime I was working in a restaurant. After I finished the semester for computer graphics, I then entered into computer vision and that was the moment I realized, oh, I really like what I'm doing right now. Uh, it was the first time I actually understood how the models are applied into real life and how that relates to everything that I have studied before. So how can I actually make some transformations in my images and how can I apply the models to that and produce like self-driving cars application. So it was really cool, it was really crazy and that's exactly what I wanted to do. That actually wasn't machine learning exactly, that was computer vision. The more time passed, I actually started realizing that machine learning can be applied to so many different areas and in school I didn't want to go to something extremely specific I, I didn't want to do pure math or pure physics I, I wanted to be as broad as possible and I keep that until today I like acoustics and I like images and uh, I like videos as well and I feel like machine learning is perfect to apply to any of those data sources then on the last year of my master's I had to work on my thesis actually the first time I got to contact a company and it was sort of like an internship with the company and see how they work I design an application where you can actually detect how attentive someone is towards a television and that was a pretty cool project because i could touch every single aspect of like a real data science computer vision project so i had to gather my own data i had to fail gathering my own data i had to label um, the data that i gather i had to fail labeling the data and relabeling and making um, automating the processes of labeling things uh, because that's when you actually start understanding that your data is extremely important when you apply a model and then suddenly it doesn't work and I love that so I continue and then I started realizing oh wow I can really apply this uh, model to this data and it works and you know I can make this tricks and I can change the model and I can see how that um, behaves differently from different mo from yeah from different models and that was pretty cool and that's the first time I understood that you know I wanted to do this uh, in real life although it seemed to me that this path was more into um, the research path and that's something I didn't want to go because the research path path would involve uh, pursuing a PhD uh, which I don't have and I wanted to just go directly into like the industry and see what people are doing so basically once I finished my master's I got this opportunity also in an audio company which was half software half data science and uh, that's the moment that it made me realize that I didn't want to do data science at all uh, you can check the video on data science versus machine learning engineer where I explain why on my free time I started researching a lot about what do machine learning engineers do and there were so many different tracks uh, you can do machine learning everywhere basically but I was getting more and more hooked up on the idea of being more software uh, aside I was liking the idea of um, how these libraries are built like how is tensorflow scikit-learn built and I wanted to do that I researched a bit about companies that do that. Currently, I just build, you know, my models from scratch and then I just serve them for the user. I think my path makes sense for someone that wants to get into machine learning because, you know, I realized that machine learning is all about data 
and how important it is to know how to manipulate the data. Obviously, if you know things like how to clean audio or how to transform images like doing some morphological operations then everything is way easier um, to apply machine learning models on top of that type of data i feel like i don't regret not pursuing computer science because also i have around three years of experience now in software engineering and that basically is what made me be a really good programmer. The masters that I chose was very, very complete because I can, you know, apply machine learning, for example, to VR. And I can also work as a computer vision engineer and I can also work in the machine learning field because I covered all the different possible areas and also I cover the areas like user experiences so if you're gonna be customer facing so for example if you're gonna be making models over trends well you need to know about the customer uh, this is really important so I don't regret my path you know I have different friends in the area and they all have different backgrounds so there are people that actually come from a pure computer science background there are people who have changed several times so that have for example studied physics and then uh, go to computer science i know people that work in the area there are doctors you can just come from industrial engineering mechanical engineering uh, electronics it is really important of course if you're gonna work in machine learning engineering to have certain background for example what i undertook about uh, linear algebra calculus programming it's really important that you have i still don't know anybody that works as machine learning engineer that comes from social science part background however i do see people from social sciences working in data science i hope you liked this video on how i got to be a machine learning engineer and i hope you find it helpful there are so many different paths. If you have any questions or if you want guidance, please leave a comment and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support on Patreon, you can find the link in the description below. Thank you again and hope to see you in the next video.